Quan 3 next just dropped right now the new AI model from Quan Family. Hey, I am Mo, and here we test new AI models, different complex tasks to see their true capabilities. Let's start testing. This is an 18 billion parameter, which is impressive to see in an open source space. Interestingly, it's only activate 3 billion parameters, making it a mixture of expert model. Let's start testing this model. The first prompt we have, we will ask the model to create a web-based operating system. I will put the model in thinking mode with maximum thinking length and we will see what it will generate. As you see here, this is a quite long generation. It's about 1400 lines of code. So let's test this code. This is looking good so far. This is logging page and wow, this is so impressive. But I don't know why the tabs are opened already. So I will close them, cannot close them, but they are draggable. The Wikipedia page is working, but there is no actual rendering here. The note app is working, which is quite good to see. I cannot save it. The time clock does, does not open any pop out, but this is okay. There is no right click menu, but it's okay. It's okay for uh, its small model actually. I'm not expecting so much. The file explorer here is working. The start menu is working. Can open the terminal. Let's type help. We have quite many commands here actually. Let's try ls. It's working. And the overall experience in this desktop OS, uh, I will give it 7 out of 10. It need more work and more fixing. So let's move on to the next prompt. We will ask this model to generate a simulation of a ball bouncing in a hexagon shape. So I will set this to thinking mode. So the model finished the generation here. Let's test this code now. Let's test this code. Okay, now we have generation. But there is no gravity, which is an issue. So I will describe the issue. Uh, this is a quite impressive generation. Uh, here we have a collision uh, issue. But at least we get a working uh, generation right here, which is quite fascinating to see. So I will give this 8 out of 10, and this is a pass. So let's move on to our third prompt, which is I will ask the model to generate a rental website. So the generation is complete, let's test this code. So this is how the website looks like. I think it's quite good, but the light mode is not that impressive. The dark mode is look fantastic. There is hover effect, which is so nice to see. And overall, uh, the quality is uh, great. So I will give this 6 out of 10. And for me, it's a decent generation. So let's move on to the fourth prompt. We'll ask here the model to generate a 3D black hole simulation. So I will enable thinking mode as always. Let's test it and see. So this is, looks quite good. But I don't think this is a black hole. This is a fail for me because black hole simulation need to have beams of light and how the light bends and go inside the black hole. And with this simulation, there is no physics inside this. This is just a black ball and the disk spinning around it. So this is considered a failed and inaccurate result. So here the fifth prompt will ask the model to generate a neural network visualization. And it's basically, I want to see how the neural nets interact with each other without including any training stages or anything else. It's just simple visualization, nothing more. And let's test again. So as we see here, the design is quite impressive and the visualization actually work. But what missing here is the data flow between the node. And I think this is a quite complex task for this model to handle. So I will give the past because generating the nodes, the connection between them is quite impressive to see. So I will give this generation a 6 out of 10. But if you add the data flow interaction, I will give this easily 8 out of 10 because this is very complex task. So we reached the end of our video. I hope you like it. I hope you give us a like and subscribe and see you next time.